hello everyone welcome to my channel in today's tutorial we're learning how to make this beautiful robust bustier with front lacing yeah so if today is your first time of joining us please click the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to get notified anytime we drop a new video and for a new returning subscriber thank you for always coming back so let's get right to it In our last video, we were able to draft and cut out these patterns on our paper. So if we are here to watch this video, I'll put the uh, link on the screen so you can go ahead to watch it so as to know how to cut these patterns on your paper. So once you're able to draft out this pattern and it's accurate like this, then we can go ahead to draft it and to cut it on your fabric. So I'll be using this crepe fabric this flower fabric i'll be using this fabric then i have here the satin for the lining and i have my interfacing so now I'll go ahead to place the patterns on the fabric to cut it out okay so i have cut it out on the fabric and i've also attached the interface to the fabric and i also cut out the satin that i'm using for the lining likewise so these are all the pieces we have for the top the next thing we're going to do now is we're going to attach each of the fabric and the lining together for joining so i'll just attach okay let me remove the papers here so as not to miss each one you know it was labeled so as not to miss each one together so now this one will be joining it to this side so you can just pin it down to pin it down so this is what we have then this side will go to this side when you are joining please make sure that everything is accurate so we join this so our lacing is going to be around this place so we are not going to join those parts together so we join this side front to also to this side I had a 0.5 inch allowance all around which is going to be my same allowance for the side I also added 0.5 because I don't want it to have any extra allowance for the side so this is my side back I'm going to join it to my side front so to the side front and also one piece of the center back one piece of the center back I will join it to the center, uh, side back so we're done joining this side so for this side also we're going to join the side back we're going to join it together like so The piece of the center back we are also going to place it there and join it together so having joined the piece together now i'm going to take it to the sewing machine and join it together give it a good press i will also do the same thing for the lining okay so i have joined all the pieces together this is what we have you know there's not going to be any opening at the back so i've joined the center back together also so this is what we have now so this is it now i just go to i want to put uh, a little bit of bone in there I don't want the bonnet to be too much because I'm only doing it for tutorial purpose actually. So you can use your swable bonnet or you can use plastic bonnet. If you want to use plastic bonnet now, you're going to stitch down these allowances, then you make it your bonnet channel. If you are using plastic bonnet, since I'm using this uh, swable bonnet, so I'm just going to place it 
on the center of the joining like this i'll place it here then i'll sew it down here so when you are sewing make sure you leave like 0 0.5 allowance for the joint turning for the upper part and also for the down part so i'm just going to place it on each of these joining points for my boning channel that before my boning place yeah because i'm not using plastic boning so i don't really need to create the channel i'm just going to place this directly on the joining area like this then i will sew it down so i will do the i will do it for all the points and also the front of the lining i've also joined it together and i've ironed it so i'll keep this aside and put the boning on all of these points so i have stitched in the bonies let's look at the wrong side this is where i have after stitching down the boning and i've pressed it down so it's more relaxed now the next thing we're going to do now is once we turn this upper part with our lining so you bring the lining that you have joined the same way you join the main fabric you bring it together then first we would start the joining from this place so you make sure everything aligns together like this the joinings to each other you sew with your 0.5 inch allowance you sew it round so after sewing it round you press it you turn it you can double stitch you can top stitch it if you want so you can top stitch it after you join this one okay let me just do it like this let me go ahead to sew it i will sew this one then i will show you how to top stitch it so i've uh, stitched it down with the 0 0.5 allowance i joined so the top stitching i was trying to explain now is if you want to top stitch it you just bring this side you put it on the lining then you sew it tiny you just sew it tie very tiny close to the edge like this so that you'll be able to secure the lining to the wrong side and the lining will not be coming out like this so you just run the stitch close to this edge here you run it all through in order to secure uh the lining to the wrong side of the fabric after doing that we need to turn this side of the of the dress so it is this side that will be cut uh, that will be carrying the lacing yeah so we need to put a boning around this side in order to just make it uh, to give it a little structure around this place since it's not the back that we can cut a lacing back so to in order to do this now you know if you want to turn it you're going to turn it like this to sew you're going to turn it like this to sew so when you are doing it if you know you cannot do it twice but it's actually simple you just place your boning like this you know you are going to sew it on half inch so you put this side of the boning before the joining you did here you just bring it out it bring it down a little bit then you sew this edge of the boning so the edge of this this side of the boning will be on the 0.5 inch allowance that you planned on using to turn this other side in then you sew it down to 0.5 before the end of the that uh, before the end of the top then you do the same thing for this other side i hope you get what i just explained you bring your bonnet like this you place it on the 0.5 allowance that you want to use it to sew it inside then you sew it round down to the hem so when you turn it you turn it to the other side i will show you how it looks like after turning it i have turned this one with uh, i've turned it i've used the boning to turn it in like this by the time you turn it to the right side this is what you're going to use so you just press it down in order to straighten the boning so once you've straightened it down like this now you just use your hand to fill the other side of the boning you know this place you can sew in a boning is two side so we've sewn one side down the other side is going to be somewhere around this place so you just sew it down you follow you trace it out and you sew it down to secure the boning and you do the same thing for both you do the same thing for both sides okay so i have stitched this side 
I've stitched it down and as of I've also gone ahead to finish the damp part so I use it by hands to just turn it inside to finish the damp part of this so that brings us to almost the end and also for the highlight parts I've punched the hole I just realized now that I'm out of highlights so I won't be able to just put it now and I want to finish this video tonight in order to start editing it so that brings us to the end of the class isn't this beautiful so just try and lay your hands on it and if you have any question you can drop the question in your in the comment section i will make sure i attend to the questions thank you see you in next class